Welcome everyone to another video, I'm Demon Hunter and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create a large Nordic survival base. If you want to support my channel please subscribe to us and follow us on our Instagram, the link will be down below in the description. Also we're doing a, a followers and subscribers awards so be sure to stay tuned on the Instagram and on the YouTube. So currently we hit a 100 followers on the Instagram, we're gonna do a custom award also if we hit 500 subscribers we're gonna do a lot of reward. So stay tuned and let we grow together as a one team. With that say, grab your notes and let's get started. So this is the main layer of the house, I don't want to confuse you a lot, so we're just going to go slowly step by step. So first, lift uh, corner pillars by one, this one and this one, and every pillar that you built, you can even stop the video on the diagram part, the copy, uh, so I lift everything by a 3 or a total of 4 blocks. For now it's up, right? Now what you want to do is go on a 4 block and just connect these front pillars. After that, you're gonna go one block inside and from right side and place six blocks. And here we're gonna place four blocks. Also, you could connect here, placing out a third block, one block like this. Now we are on the back side and what we want to create here is on the far left uh, pillar, get one block more and this like second on the left, place seven more blocks to be same height as this pillar and lift this by two. Then up the fifth block uh, just connect these three pillars. And at the very end you got a side where a big window gonna be. Then you're gonna simply first connect these two pillars like this and then adding four blocks to each again connect them and up the middle block uh, add four more now it's time for a front of the roof this little bit tricky part so pay attention guys so go two blocks diagonally from this lower pillar place a normal block or uh, normal stair now place upside down stair and follow that uh, step till you don't reach 12 uh, normal stairs or 12 block high. Now I reach uh, 12 block. 12 stairs, normal stairs, then place spruce planks, then again place uh, normal stairs like this, then uh, on the below the spruce plank place upside down stairs, place normal spruce planks, upside down stairs, then normal stairs. After that you're gonna place spruce planks and upside down stairs towards inside, then again just repeating this process, normal stairs, spruce planks, uh, upside down and one more time till you don't get the point where the where this pillar gonna be and after that just place one more normal and that is it. Now for the back side is it exactly the same 12 but you're gonna close with upside down stairs and immediately start with a uh, normal stairs, uh, block or planks, upside down until you don't get to the end. 
and now we have a window part so start going four block and then place upside down stair then place two planks place normal upside down and place plank on it normal upside down plank normal upside down normal and upside down and this is for good thing for the window width that is this is a metrical shape so just repeat the parts here now for each side I forgot to tell you just simply place a normal stair upside down and place one more slab like this so place on each top same thing and then just gonna simply uh, take a slab and uh, connect all three parts so far so good right now just also forgot to tell you uh, to connect the bottom parts on both sides and then what you want to create next is a roof so simply uh, whatever you have a, a full block or a slab uh, or a stair just simply place that uh, with the oak planks or or whatever wood you prefer just to be different from the spruce Real quick for the, those of you who are lost here and who can find a way how to close these two um, triangles or these two areas, just simply take oak planks and go where the upside down stairs are and one block down below and simply go and close it up like this. So one start with a one, then two, then three, and then now we have here a stairs, so please simply stairs uh, now we have here a full block if you need to destroy all blocks destroy it like me uh, so this is a full block and it could be like this then again stairs and then we could connect here and do this exactly the same on the another side now we're gonna create a chimney from the outside so go to the back of the house Take stone bricks and place three, two, and three. Now lift everything by three more. And then just add two more blocks to this one. And place normal stone brick stairs like this. And then you're gonna uh, create a square four by four. So simply, but basically you will need to destroy a few spruce stairs but it doesn't matter and now lift it up everything by 10 and to close it up just place normal stairs of course you can lift it up um, as many as you wish so I just do it 10 and upside down closing up with upside down like this now from the inside uh, of the house we're gonna for the chimney we're gonna add two more blocks like this and place normal upside down and place two stairs like this and close it up with upside down uh, next also you want to simply take a stairs and just 
go upside down to like this. Now before we start in, uh, creating walls, few things with the pillar should be done is to, to connect this um, like interior uh, pillars and connect them like here. Then connect these two and we're gonna connect we're gonna connect these two and also we're gonna drag this pillar to create one more like this also if you care about direction always do the same direction and also we could connect two pillars here Now what we want to do after that is to go one, two, three block and then place diagonally. So one, two, three block diagonally and then one, two, three and one, two, three place it. Then lift it up everything by four and later on you're gonna see where what should be in the middle of the house. Now let's go first do the downstairs. So take a cobblestone and just fill it up the holes from the outside like this. Now here we're gonna have a window of creating a four stairs. So we're gonna have a small hole for a window and fill it up this. side uh, of the house so from this side you want to lift up cobblestone till you don't hit the stairs or the roof we're gonna do the same thing with the back side so till we don't hit the roof And now I'll go to the window part and just close it up by lifting four blocks. Now for the upper front part of the house, go take a strip it of wood, and then place one block. Just make sure you have the same direction. That's why I'm destroying. And then fill it up uh, this smaller part and this one. For the middle part, there's gonna be a window, so make sure. I've got to place one more log, I guess. So make sure uh, this uh, lift three blocks, so one, one, two, three, and then you can fill it up. We can go to the window part and place oak log in the middle and fill it up this too. And then just go simply inside and go to the level when these pillars are closing and just uh, copy this whole shape. So lift it four oak logs or three like this and connect them like this and simply do the same trick here or with a strip of wood. Now let's create uh, two windows. So for this smaller window we're gonna simply place a 
stairs at the top, stairs at the bottom, and place two dark oak fans on it, and with the trap doors place uh, at the wall side. After that we could decorate a little bit area by placing pots, some plants and oak trap doors in these two middle blocks. For the next window you want to place two stairs in a corner and then close it up from the middle. And then just basically you're gonna take a spruce trap doors and place two like this from this side and two like this from this side. And then just close it up with spruce trap doors at the side and you have a nice let's say two windows but they are just illusion of the window and what you could do uh, in the middle just simply you could take a spruce stairs you can close it up uh, you can close it up with, like this so adding few like decoration it doesn't matter how the box is gonna be placed also you could uh, take a few trap doors and place it randomly wherever you like. Now before we go uh, detailing the house um, with the interior and exterior uh, we go finishing up with the structure. So as you can see I changed the floor to strip it of wood. Then you're gonna simply uh, take a spruce slab and do a floor for our next floor. Leave, a, leave this space and this space for they're gonna be um, some detailing that I'm gonna show you real quick after this. So this is gonna be a staircase. So you wanna take a cobblestone and lift it up by five, five blocks. And then gonna you're gonna take again, uh, repeat here. But yeah, you won't lift this five blocks. You're gonna lift four, and you wanna raise it up one more like this. For this part, we just simply gonna place all trap doors all the way around. Now we could also close it up this using a cobblestone. And close it up this side using cobblestone. Now for the staircase, just simply take a spruce stairs and just repeating till you don't get to the top. Now we finished the structure and I'm gonna show you real quick how I decorate the house. So. Around the house, just simply placing a slabs and stairs, uh, just to fill it up the space. You can always put a flower or leaves uh, to have bush. Now we do the same thing here. Now here we do with the underside stairs. We do a small table, put an anvil and greenstone to have uh, like a front workshop in front of house. And we put a lantern with uh, oak stairs in the corners. Now we're gonna inside, and you can uh, you can see uh, a massive change. So 
in this corner we uh, create a kitchen uh, creating simply use a color drawn spruce log uh, use spruce trap doors for a shelf place a barrels on it uh, furnace a smoker the most important thing in a kitchen right uh, looms uh, again cauldron and shelf using a dark oak slab um, and place a plan on it uh, you can always place a lantern we prefer now to place a torch on the ground level now this uh, right side is a basically table with uh, birch stairs to have place where you can eat again shelf just to fill it up the space when you uh, run out the idea what can you do to fill it up the space just use the shelves and place plants or bookshelves whatever you want now in the middle part uh, we place a carpet use a light gray carpet uh, we have a well, bookshelf and enchantment table so we have a enchantment room and we close it up with a spruce trap doors to bookshelf we don't see bookshelves from the this side so just from this side and it's really cool effect uh, now we create a basement just simply cut the hole and place some trap doors with a ladder fill it up with a cobblestone and place few barrels and chest if you want to create a basement now uh, on the fireplace just simply we put uh, magna blocks we put a campfire underneath it and close it up with you can close it up even with a magma block if you want so uh, basically we want a particle of smoke smoke so we place a uh, campfire underneath the blocks and close it up with the arm bar so you prevent uh, burn damage now for the um, behind the staircase we use a chest room so basically just place a spruce slabs for the shelf and place a chest and you can even hide it using a spruce trap door now it's time to go up as you can see uh, we put uh, let's say cobblestone walls on it uh, on the cobblestone so it uh, is more detailed and we close it up this hole using a spruce trap door to prevent uh, fall damage now on this big wall we really thinking what we can do um, and we came up with two big uh, plants using a composter and placing a spruce leaves we create a simple shelf just placing two upside down stairs and full uh, full planks or we place two slabs and then we close it up with a fence place jukebox item frame where you can put your uh, CD uh, we place a simple lantern arm stand and uh, and a picture then on this side we create a small frame uh, just using cobblestone and stairs with slabs uh, placing a purple carpet and purple uh, banners uh, we want uh, to create the sheets for the window and we want this room to be a small like alchemist room so we place a uh, room stands uh, with a crafting table called Corpse Cauldron and chest um, with the barrels and of course last but not least the bedroom so place two simple uh, beds place spruce logs and close it up with stairs and uh, slabs at the top we create a shelf uh, and place a chest we have crafting table, some plan again sheets using uh, banners, and at the end we have uh, simply a lot of bookshelves and create a table using cartography table and a book in a uh, item frame, and we have a table and we have a chair, uh, just simple birch slab, close it up with the signs and. Uh, 
Bird Strap Door. And there you go guys, I show you how to create a really large survival Nordic base. If you enjoyed this video and if this video helped you anyway, please subscribe to our channel. And as I said, follow us on Instagram, uh, we are doing uh, really good awards uh, to where we reach our milestones. So if you want to be a part of one team and if you want to even get a chance to win something, uh, follow us on Instagram and follow us on the YouTube or subscribe. Uh, also share us to your friends so we progress even faster and the world's gonna be uh, even better. So for now, see you next video. Peace.